So me and my sister as the nerd siblings that we are just came back from cinema to see the Blue Beetle and here are some our initial thoughts about the movie as always spoilers. This movie is trying to be Iron Man so bad. I just, I just wanted to be like you. And I wanted you to be better. And the Venom at the same time? Does that sound like a combination that would never work to you? You'd be right. This movie was a fun ride. Acting performances were great, but the movie itself has a couple of problems. The biggest being the identity crisis that this movie is going through. It's lacking focus. I believe that there are just way too many big complex issues crapped into this movie and as a result some of these big ideas felt really hollow. This movie is trying to be an origin story and a story about family and a story about Mexican community and a story of immigration and a story about American influence in South America and a story about poverty and the racism and story about the greed of tech companies and a love story and rich destroying poor. It's just too much. We start the movie with Jaime going home from college and learning that his family is about to lose their home. And then we have a time skim forward and they did not lose a home. So what was that worry about? Jamie gets a job at the house of Victoria Court but is fired the very first day for not being able of minding his own business. Jenny Court feels bad about him getting fired so she promised him to get him another job. As he's meeting with her, she gives him a scarab. This scarab connects him and starts a symbiosis. They learn how to fight together. Victoria Court wants scarab back and Jamie was idiot enough to tell a woman who ordered a man to hurt another person right in front of him his full name. College graduate? Did Gotham Law School fall that down? So Jaime family is attacked. His father dies and Jaime is captured. Victoria is trying to get the scarab coat from him and kill Jaime. A scientist sacrifices himself to save Jaime. Jaime and Carapaz have a final fight. Jaime sees his memories and lets him go and eventually Carapax kills Victoria. At the end, the community comes together to help Reyes and honor their father. This movie is asking you to do a lot. We don't know this community, but the movie is asking us to see the place Reyes family has here. Dr. De La Cruz, aka not Sanchez, but Sanchez anyway, has no character development, but we're supposed to feel sad about his death. Moments like this are taking the movie a bit down. He was just there and that's it. We didn't and movie didn't give us a reason to care about him, to be sad when he dies. It was supposed to be a big sacrifice, but it felt shallow. We as an audience are here to see and connect with this particular family. A family that is great, they are a wonderful unit. You can truly feel the love these people feel for one another from the very first moment. And also as individuals, they are very entertaining. I love this family and I cannot wait to see them in the other DC projects. On the other hand, Victoria Court as a villain was a very one note. She has like two lines that she keeps repeating, but we don't really know what she means by then or what's her motivation. Why is she the way she is? Is she bad because she's bad? That's just lazy writing. Which is a bummer because I like that the court influence is truly felt. In every shot of the El Paso we can see a building being closed or for sale or having new management. Almost as Victoria Court is a, a shadowy virus slowly taking over the neighborhood. A big part of the movie was a history of Ted Court and his version of a blue beetle. And the mystery of his disappearing. The post credit scenes has a pumped for the Booster Gold series where we hopefully can get some answers about Ted Cord and his disappearance. Overall a wild fun experience but did not really think it through and they want it to be a trilogy. Please do Baron in next one. Subscribe.